hey what's going on you're watching all the way up crypto and i'm your host aaron here to tell you what's going on in crypto land thanks for tuning in i do appreciate you guys listening to me ramble on uh and i hope you learned something i hope you gain another uh, perspective about something that's all i'm really here to do is to educate um and uh keep you guys up to date on things so what's going on with the Marshall Islands? I think I might want to move there. Hmm. They have basically declared that they are going to stop using the United States dollar as their currency and they are creating their own cryptocurrency. And what's more important, I don't know what's more important. Um, they're taking into consideration privacy that you shouldn't have to always expose your identity. Uh, there will be a limited su supply, a limited amount of the Marshall Island currency. Mm. Sounds like a pretty good place to move to. I may have to pick up and move to them islands. The reason that they think this will work is because of the mentality there. Because Marshall Islands are already decentralized. Right? Everything that they've done out there on that island has had to be... It's not in a central manner. Right? They, they've had to do things in a distributed way, so to speak. So, it's pretty interesting to think about what can happen. But, but, guess what? Hello, wake up, people. Someone is going to stop using the United States dollar. They're finding it not useful to them anymore. I wonder why. I honestly think the signs are there that we are living in a whole different world. Or where a new world has been brought to light and sprung into... Came out of the darkness and then it's into the light. We're getting away from fiat money. We're getting away slowly from the United States dollar being the reserve currency. Uh, these trade wars with China... Guess what? China and Russia have been wanting to get the United States dollar out of being a reserve currency for a while. Uh, they've been buying up gold or getting all their gold reserves back uh, and accumulating it. I think the writing's on the wall, folks. Pretty sure the writing's on the wall. It's coming. It's a coming. This might be... You know, the bricks on the wall starting to crumble. You know? It's coming. Be ready. Have some gold. Have some silver. Have some crypto. And you'll be ready for whatever comes your way. Uh, the gold and silver, though, I don't know how much you'll be able to spend it. It'll be like a uh, store of value. Cryptocurrency, you'll be able to spend that. Think about it. All right, on a positive note, looking at my little bit of notes here, uh, positive information came up from India. The higher up people in India are suggesting the regulation of ICOs, similar to what we do in the United States here, as utility tokens and security tokens. Um, if they can open that up, I mean, uh, you got a whole new couple billion people come you know have access to crypto that where it's currently banned right now and bad things could happen if you get that software in your hands it's all ones and zeros so who cares what are you using that for i just want to collect it i don't know um so that's good that's really good stuff uh so i hope that pulls through for india there's a lot of places in india i think um, that are ripe for innovation. Uh, there's a lot of smart people in India. Maybe they take it to the whole next level. But, so hopefully that pans out. So at least they're thinking about it, talking about it, going in the right step. And that's, that's a good sign for crypto. Another, another plus one for crypto. Another minus two for fiat. Um, in other news... Bitcoin Cash got dusted. So, uh, kind of like what happened with Litecoin, but no one seems to know who, what, when, where, why, or how this 
was done or what the, you know, why they, why, why? Uh, and it was pretty interesting. I guess there was like 18 blocks in a 10 minute block time. How is that possible? Um, so it, it's a flaw a little bit in how Bitcoin Cash is, is uh, set up. And uh, you know, what do you do? It's a dusting attack. People send a bunch of tiny transactions out and bada bing, bada boom. I'm not sure what will come out of it. I don't. I don't think it's a big deal. The price wasn't affected, uh, but I believe it was yesterday it happened, maybe. Um, so if you were transacting with Bitcoin Cash, you might have noticed that it took longer than normal. And maybe somebody's just trying to test Bitcoin Cash's blocks and the network to see what's going on with it. I think the thing, it, in, in my personal opinion, is the there's not enough hashing power, so to speak, and Bitcoin Cash to raise the difficulty to be hard enough to make it more or less prone to attacks like that. So, hey, whatever. It's crypto. We're in the beginning, baby steps. Then we'll start walking and then we'll run and then we'll settle down and we'll just stay in shape and things will all be wonderful. So, that's my little spiel for today, a little bit of the news. Marshall Islands, go Marshall Islands, go. Uh, really excited about that. Um, I don't know, you know, it would be great if they just took something like Digibyte, the Digi Assets with it. Ta da! You have to run a, their own blockchain or anything. It'd be nice. And there, here's the way they want to do on ramp to this. So I think they'll just phase out the USD. And then the on-ramp will be through exchanges and banks to move over to their cryptocurrency. So, I think it's pretty cool to do it that way. I mean, they, you got to kind of persuade terrorists not to use your money for terroristic things. But if we lived in more of an anarchist, government-free world, we probably wouldn't have to worry about terrorists. So... Anyway, I hope you're all doing well on this wonderful Wednesday. And until we meet again, stay crypto, my friends.